Hello fellow orchid lovers, it's Danielle here with an unboxing video. So recently I got an email from Calapana Tropicals that they were doing a 50% off sale on some of their orchids. So of course I had to take a look. <laughs> and uh, so that led of course to purchase and this is that purchase. So I just wanted to share um, what I got. So we'll take a look together box is resisting. Oh dear. Seems to have been folded in. There we go. Triumph. Um, so they usually send this cute little packet. It's got a sticker. Um, really pretty sticker actually. And they always package it really well. A lot of this stuff. So off to the side it is so so hot today that I was worried about them but fortunately um, we have like a bin at the end of our driveway because we have quite a crazy high driveway and um, for them to leave these in and it's in the shade and we were out when it was delivered but it only sat in there for you know less than an hour and it's in the shade in like the woods. So um, I think they should be okay, but I wanted to get them unboxed as soon as possible, just in case. So, one. So pretty damp, so they ship them, I guess a little more on the damp side to make sure that they wouldn't have a problem. with the heat because it is very hot here. Extremely hot. There's actually been heat, heat uh, index warnings and all kinds of stuff the last couple of days because a lot of people have been getting heat stroke because of how hot it is. And we haven't been getting very much rain so it hasn't really been cooling off. How many did I buy? Dear, I don't remember buying this many. <laughs> So, um, okay, there's one more. All right. It's taped into a pot, which we will untape. There we go. These are the little pots that they send. I'll show these to you before. They're really cute. I just don't really have use for them because they have holes in the bottom. So, you know, growing in water culture that doesn't really work. But they're cute, so that's nice. All right, so let's take the box out of here. Put it on the floor so I can put everything in it as I'm unpacking. All right, so this one, Oh, I think this is the Brasso Catlia that I got. Yep. Although it says LC, but on the website it said BC, so probably the designation has changed, but it's Yellow Bird. And actually I was watching um, Blanca and she has a full-sized, you know, like a actual blooming one and it was just gorgeous and it was after I already placed the order so I was already I already wanted this but then I saw hers and I was like wow I really am excited that I bought that plant so looks pretty healthy doesn't look like it's ever bloomed before uh, but they do say it's blooming size so we'll see it's got a new growth coming here so we'll see what it does but she seems very fleshy and healthy no dehydration so she's good Gotta keep the tag with the plant. I just almost threw out the tag. Okay. Next. So, 
this one is a Will Sonora Fire Cat Lava Glow. So I decided to get some orchids that are more uh, to the red side. I really don't have that many orchids that have that are red. Uh, so this one, oh, you know what? Hang on one second. I have pictures. Okay, sorry about that. So, I did, I did look up pictures for this order and I just got so excited about unboxing it. So this is the one, the yellow bird that I showed you first. So there's that. And then this is the lava glow that I just showed you. Really nice saturation red color there. So I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, the plant itself looks like, uh, I'm gonna find something suspicious in the pot. So I will be unboxing her immediately. Um, Whenever you see that the new growth has some leaves that have been cut off, it can be a little worrisome. Doesn't look like she's bloomed. So she, again, this is a blooming size, but it doesn't look like she's bloomed. So that's that one. That was that one was 50% um, off. The first one I showed you was not. next I know that the nurseries trim plants up you know they'll take off old leaves and anything that looks unsightly before they ship the plant but um, with this plant the reason why I said that I might find something I don't like is you can see the leaves are crinkled here so that means that it has a problem with hydration um, which if it has certain infections that I've shared with you before, it affects the root system. So it does have trouble hydrating. And also it's odd that the new leaves on the new growth have been chopped off. Because usually it's older leaves that you'll see unsightliness on and have to trim off. Uh, so that's why I said that about that. Okay, so this one is Okay, so this, I bought this one already. <laughs> and, then, and then they listed it for half price. And so I had to buy another one because I, I've owned this plant before and it died on me. So I got one recently. And um, when I saw that it went on sale for half off, I said, you know what, let me just pick up another one since I'm placing an order anyways, just to be on the safe side. So uh, this is the Tropic, uh, Bellara Tropic Lily Hilo Spaceship. So you can see that there. And it's, it's a decent plant. Uh, it looks like it's spiking in two places. So we have a spike here, as you can see. And then there's another one down in here. So reasonable, is, and that's on the two newest growths, which there's two directions of growth in here. So this might be two plants. So I'll have to, I'll have to check that out when I unpot her, but I've showed you this the last unboxing. That's what she looks like. So I got another one just to have insurance. In case one plant doesn't do well, I'll have a second one because I am determined to have that in my collection because I just really, really love those flowers. All right, so next, this one's really, really top heavy. So I'm just gonna, oh, it's coming out of the pot. Oh, and it has a spike, how lovely. Oh, that's exciting. So this one is, ooh, I'm so excited it has a spike. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is a Miltasia CM Fitch Izumi. So I'm pretty excited about this one. Let me show you the photo and then I'll show you the plant and you'll understand why I'm excited. Is that in my wheelhouse or what? <laughs> like that is, I think it's coming through pretty terribly on your screen, but 
If it is, look it up. Oh my gosh, right? So, looks like a pretty good plant. Nice, big pseudobulbs, bigger and bigger. Um, new growth. Growth before that is the one that's spiking. So it looks like this one gets its pseudobulb and then it spikes, so I might get a spike on this one if I'm fortunate. But um, yeah, so spike right here. And some buds are starting to form. So hopefully we'll get some blooms on this one. Ooh, this really, really, really excites me. Very happy with that. Okay. All right, next. Okay. So, okay, so this one I've had before as well and it also did not make it. It held on for a while but then it keeled over. So this one is, I don't know how to pronounce the first part of that. <laughs> so, Shiburni Purple Rain, Shiburni, but the, the actual uh, intergeneric abbreviation there, not gonna try that one. But this is the plant. So again, you know, a couple pseudobulbs, this latest uh, pseudobulb is spiking. So she's got a small spike right here and then she's got a much farther advanced spike here. So we'll get some flowers on her and I'll show you what she looks like. So it's that one right there. And like I said, I've had this one before and the blooms are fabulous. So I'm excited about that. Next. what this is okay so this one was a 50% off one as well and this one is um, Bellara Yasabella lunar eclipse so it's got two new growths this one's much more farther advanced this one's not as far advanced just checking the bracts to see if there are any spots that it has bloomed before. It has bloomed before, but it didn't bloom on this growth, which it should have. Um, so this new growth didn't bloom, but it's putting out a new growth. And actually this pseudobulb that put out this pseudobulb is putting out another new growth. So, and I don't see any signs of spikes on this one, so, but that's fine. Let's see how she does. I'll show you her picture. It's not gonna really show you um, oops, too well because it's a very pale flower. So I'm probably not gonna translate well for you, but it's got like the faintest hint of lavender on um, the petals and sepals and on the, on the lip. this but I am like really excited this is a Miltonia a Miltoniopsis and I did not order this but I actually have literally bought this plant three times and killed it all three times and really wanted one but they didn't have it on their website so it's a Miltoniopsis Andrea West so they gave me a free plant oh I'm so excited well, I have ordered from them in the past <laughs> three times in the past, what, four months? So <laughs> I guess they noticed. Um, so yeah, I have killed this plant three times now. Well, not three times, twice. Cause the, the third one I got, I still have, but she's not doing well. Uh, so hopefully I can do better with this one, but that's a really nice pseudobulb in the back. Let's see if she has any kind of spike. Oh, she bloomed already. So she did spike on this growth. But that's so exciting. Oh, I'm gonna have to send them a thank you email. That was really nice of them to give me a free orchid. 
All right. So the last one, I, sh I should know what this one is then. This is one of the ones they had for 50% off. Oh, and it's in spike. Yeah. So this is, um, oh, I did, did I tell you what this was? Andrea West, the free one that they gave me. I don't know if I showed you the tag, but there it is. I just got so excited. <laughs> I just got so excited, it derailed me. Uh, this is a darling little plant. This is uh, Hawiara Lava Burst. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm not gonna try to, cause then I'm just gonna botch it and you guys are gonna laugh. I don't know if that's in focus, but. So it's adorable, it's a cute little plant and it's got a spike. So I'll show you the flowers on that. I don't think I have a picture of the Andrea West. Yes, I am. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous flower. So I'm really excited. This is the uh, lava burst that I just showed you. I could get the plant out of the way. So again, red. So I wanted to add a few red flowers to my collection. I don't think I have an easily accessible picture of the Howard, um, the Andrea West. I did have a picture of my own that was really pretty, but uh, no joke, I have like 8,000 pictures <laughs> in here. Oh, I do have one. So that's what the Andrea West looks like. So that's the free orchid that they gave me. So I'm really, really excited. And if anyone from Calapana Tropicals watches this video, thank you, thank you so much. That was really, really nice. So there you have it. Those are my new babies. I bought mostly on Cidium into generics this time <laughs> with one Lelio Catlia mixed into the bag. So I hope you guys are all having a great day. And um, I will talk to you all next time.